Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, my beautiful Scorpio viewers, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Let's see what your person of interest is feeling about you, Scorpio. Um, I am going to get right into it. Now, of course, this may not resonate with everyone, uh, but if it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. If you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So Scorpio, if there's a particular person you have in mind, you're wondering what their deeper thoughts and feelings are for you and the connection, what they like, what they don't like, what their overall level of interest is, then please keep on watching. It's way too many cards. I'm just going to pick all of those up. And we will continue. Okay. Just want clear messages here. Some serious manifestation going on here. I'm going to pull some more clarifying cards for um, the main spread once we get it all out, but I just want a few more. Okay. All right. And we've got the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there was a period of time where there was a little bit of an emotional confusion. And I feel like actually now you have pulled your energy back, or at least that's how your person is seeing you, Scorpio, because you're coming across to them as the hanged man. So taking a step back, perhaps you have toned down the communication a little bit. I'm not necessarily feeling like there's a complete cut of communication or complete lack of communication, but they are certainly feeling the fact that you have pulled your energy back, you're taking your time, you're not rushing into making any decisions right at this moment because you're trying to gain a different perspective on something, you're possibly trying to choose or make a decision about something, or you're trying to, try to wrap your head around the situation. So you're trying to figure out what is going on. You're also trying to figure out um, what this person is thinking, what they're feeling. You're trying to, I mean, hence... Uh, why you're probably watching this video as well but you're trying to just figure out um it's almost like you're trying to put yourself in someone else's shoes as well to say okay no if i was this and, I, and this was happening to me what would i be thinking what would i be planning what would i be doing next you're trying to see something from another perspective here for sure However, this person is definitely feeling as though you have pulled back a little bit and possibly because you have a lot of other options and choices available to you. Um, that's got them a little bit worried and they're coming across as the magician, Gemini energy, Virgo energy. So they could have one of those placements in their chart if they're not a Gemini or a Virgo. But um, in any case, this is some serious manifestation energy going on. And this is a confident energy, I feel, too. This is probably an individual who is quite a goal a goal setter, a go-getter. This is someone who likes to dedicate themselves to something and achieve it. And they're also confident enough to do that. They know that they're going to achieve some kind of success. They're pretty confident. But certainly they're manifesting things. And it's almost like when you pull back your energy, it's like they want to do something to try and get your attention, to try and get you looking at them again. Um, two major arcana cards. So I'm feeling as though both of you are kind of equally matched in terms of your um, intention, in terms of your personalities, in terms of you know the strength of your personalities. They kind of like the fact that you're not someone who is easily manipulated, right? Because this person may be used to getting their way or they may be used to um yeah i don't want to say manipulation because they're not necessarily a manipulative person but the magician can be manipulative in terms of they're really just keen on manifesting what they want and if that means getting another person to come around or pay attention to them they know how to do that they have the tools at their disposal to do that and so it's kind of like they're finding it difficult and they know that you're not a pushover. They know that you can't be manipulated. They know that you're going to take your time. You're not going to rush into anything. You're not going to do anything impulsive at the moment. You're just going to take a step back and think about whatever comes your way. You're going to analyze it. Um, whereas this person is like, come on, I just want to get things moving. I just want to get things done. Very interesting. But that's what's kind of, I feel like they are enjoying that challenge because they almost feel like they have met their match in a way. When we look at their deeper feelings here, we've got the queen of pentacles, um, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is an energy of stability, 
seeing things long term, um, security, growth, abundance, sometimes in family, fertility, so growing the family. It's very, very stable, secure, committed type energy. It's also quite an independent energy. This is someone who um, is, I feel, seeing you as quite an independent energy as well. And they like that. They like the fact that you can bring some security and stability into their life. But ultimately, this is someone who is thinking long term. They're wanting to manifest something securely now so that they can secure this long term, stable future. And certainly they are seeing you as someone who they could grow with, they could be abundant with, they could build some kind of secure um, family type situation with. And we'll see more of that in a moment once we get to these two cards here. Um, Queen of Swords energy here now. This is actually coming up as a positive in this reading so it's kind of like what they like about the connection and this really represents a lot of direct honest communication sometimes it can be so direct and honest that it's brutal it's like hearing the brutal truth um, the queen of swords has the ability to cut out whatever does not um, serve her the queen of swords have has the ability to like cut through to the truth of the matter to the heart of the heart of the matter get justice and is not afraid of being assertive and being very assertive verbally as well so i feel as though once again it's almost like this is representing you this is representing the type of challenge that this person faces but i feel as though there's a lot of mental stimulation here too that this person enjoys i feel like there's a lot of higher level analysis going on in both of your minds and so the communication is quite stimulating that's what this person enjoys and they like the fact that you are honest and direct in your communication and you're not afraid to speak your mind, to speak your truth, even if the truth hurts. What they don't like about the connection here, we've got the page of cups. Someone may find it difficult to apologize. Maybe both of you. Someone may find it difficult to admit that they're wrong. Um, someone may be, and I feel as though, again, it's a little bit of both because you're both such strong personalities that I feel that there's sometimes a little bit of tenderness lacking maybe, and maybe the emotional communication um, this person feels is a little bit underdeveloped or has a way to go um, before you know things can mature and things can progress. But certainly maybe someone is waiting for a little bit of an apology or something as well, or a little bit of a softening of the communication and it just has not happened yet. When we look at <laughs> their overall level of interest, what they're thinking, like it's sort of like the conclusion of the reading here. Um, can we get much better? We've got the Ten of Cups and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So again, more strong um, water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and fixed sign energy of which you are Scorpio as well. We've also got Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. This is feeling like this is a destined connection. This is feeling like for this person, it's an opportunity they can't pass up. And that's why they're strongly manifesting this. And they're strongly trying to gain your attention and turn things around. If things have taken a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a break, they're trying to turn that around. Because it feels like a destined connection. It feels like you two were meant to meet. And they have this future goal in mind. And Ten of Cups is all about that ultimate happiness, that ultimate emotional fulfillment. And we've got a very traditional family scene in this image, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way for everyone. It just represents whatever it is that will give you that ultimate feeling of happiness and contentment. This is looking towards the future, taking the opportunity now taking hold of this amazing um, fact that you two were able to meet it feels like destiny and turning that into this future happiness having that end goal in mind so this person is um 
convinced that this is an opportunity that they don't want to pass up. They want to explore it fully. They want to do what they can to grow the situation, to make it a little bit more stable. They're kind of wishing for a bit more emotional communication as well. And maybe even um, someone needs to back down a little bit and apologize and soften that communication. Let's pull some more clarifying cards and see if any other messages um can give us a bit more clarification on what's going on here in the main spread. I feel like you're making some kind of an important decision. It could even be whether or not to um, give this person a chance or to continue the connection or whether or not it's time to just completely move on. This is um, your energy here, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. So it's almost like you're trying to make that decision whether it is worthwhile. You've got a lot to give, a lot to give. Your um, emotions, your feelings run very deep. Um, you know what a valuable kind of person you can be in a relationship. It's kind of like making the call now, making the judgment, making the decision about whether or not to open up, to give yourself to this person, to see where things go. Um you haven't quite made that decision yet, I feel. Or there's still some kind of, there's still something you're thinking about. There's still maybe something unknown or some kind of hesitation there for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, there's that page of cups again. So we got that twice. This person is almost feeling like they, if they um, communicate in a way that is a little bit softer, a little bit more from the heart, a little bit more emotional, even if it's something quite small at first, they feel as though they will be able to get this kind of emotional reciprocation from you. So don't be surprised if the communication somehow softens or you get some sort of emotional communication that you were not expecting from this person. But it's all very planned and it's all very thought out. And this person also, I feel, does not want to make a fool of themselves. They don't want to completely wear their heart on their sleeve and show everything at once. I mean, who does, right? You don't want to you know, seem too keen too soon. You don't want to um, do something that's going to kind of turn the other person away or turn them off. We've got the Knight of Swords here. However, I do feel like the communication is going to come in quite quickly. That's something, that's like communication that you do not expect. So um, it's going to happen in a way. And I feel like they want that element of surprise as well because they feel as though that's going to get your attention and that's going to sort of wake you up out of this um, hangman kind of energy where you're still on the fence about something or you're still trying to figure things out. They want to sort of shake up the dynamic a little bit and get things moving forward again because they're a little things are a little bit stalled or at least that's how this person is feeling. got the six of swords here so i don't know if there was some kind of argument in the past but this person if there was this person has well and truly decided to move on from that they want to move past it they want to leave any sort of petty disagreements they also if they ever came across as a little bit too um much like if their ego was too strong if they were a bit too egocentric or a little bit arrogant they want to leave that behind they don't they don't want to do that anymore they realize that that's not a mature way of communicating so it's almost like they've grown up a little bit um this person is quite independent as well and i am getting a strong sense here that they do they have this thing where they want to maintain their independence even when they're in a relationship. So it's not like they don't want to, um, obviously they're not wanting to be single because they want to manifest this very strongly, but their independence is very, very important to them. Let's just put it that way. They don't want to feel as though they're kind of being suffocated or like their whole life becomes the relationship they want to maintain that sense of independence, but they're also ready and they realize and they've matured a little bit. They want to move on from um, past disagreements and put their ego to the side for sure. And communication is definitely going to come in. I feel like the, you two still are communicating. I don't think that there's been like a complete break in the communication, like I said before. And I think they're actually very grateful for that. There could be a little bit of travel back and forth. You travel to see them. They travel to see you. Um, so there's still an energy of 
um, both still being interested, if that makes sense. And so they're kind of happy to see that, that there's still something there, that there's still some energy and some passion there. Um, and there's some sort of, again, mental stimulation going on that is keeping things quite interesting and the communication um, is still happening. So I don't think they're scared that they're not going to get a response from you, but they're just thinking about how they're actually going to come across and what they're going to say and how they're going to say it um, to avoid a rejection because th their ultimate goal is to get you to open up to them a little bit more. They want that communication to be free flowing, to continue being honest and direct. But they almost want to spark a little bit more passion. Yeah. Um, we're wanting, or at least this person is wanting things to, uh, become a lot more open and honest in terms of the emotional communication. Now, obviously I think they're going to be the ones to take the first step with that. They may even be the first one to, you know, say, I love you or have that sort of emotional communication. If that hasn't happened already, I think they're going to, they realize that they need to do that. This is a very, um, logical person this is someone who's very rational and so the emotions don't come easily even though they're a very intelligent person they know what they need to do the emotions haven't come easily but you've stirred something up in them you've awoken this um kind of deep feeling and deep emotion in them they have deep feelings for you it's strong they're just um finally trying to figure out how to communicate it But it's going to be slow at first. It's going to be slow at first, but it, but it's pure and it's going to come from the heart. And it's not going to be deceptive. Yeah, this is like really wanting to put effort and dedication and work in towards the future. This person is focused on you. I do feel like they're also very focused on their work, their money, their independence. Um because they we do see that they want to remain independent even in a relationship so this could be someone who works very hard very diligently look at that we've got the wheel of fortune again and we've got a choice i feel like they have made the choice though they've made the choice they want to work on things they choose you there's something that they feel like they don't know as well they don't have all the information they're wondering what you're going to choose they feel like you are very much making a decision but they feel as though Fate and destiny is on their side, believe it or not. They feel as though this was a destined meeting and we've got the magician at the bottom of the deck there as well. So um, they're wanting this, they're wanting to manifest it, they're seeing this as kind of destined connection and I wouldn't be surprised if very soon you get a sort of unexpected communication that's either going to be an apology, um, so they're going to sort of put their ego to the side, or it's it's like their heart is going to open more and they're going to be able to communicate that a little bit more to you. So I hope you enjoyed that reading, guys. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.